You're 20! Oh my god, 20! Thank you all! <laughs> And that is our show. I can tell you, I have totally been blown away by our masters tonight. And I can't wait for more magic next time. So be sure to join us. Until then, I'm Dean Kane. Thank you for watching. And thank you for being here. Hi, it's Janine Mason. Catch a new episode of Roswell, New Mexico, this Monday at 8, 7 central. Now at 10, a family in shock. A trip to Target turns deadly when a gunman opens fire on a car full of kids, killing a 17-year-old. Tonight, the search for the motive and the suspect. And a community comes together to try to cope with an immeasurable loss. How family and friends are remembering two El Monte police officers killed in the line of duty. Also, the CDC stamp of approval. Life-saving COVID vaccines now recommended for the youngest of Americans. How soon the shots for tots will start going out. Now, on the News at 10. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Rick Chamber. And hi there. I'm Courtney Frail. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Baldwin Hills, where a deadly car-to-car -car shooting has left a 17-year-old dead. Yeah, several people in that car were hit, and the suspect still remains on the loose tonight. Let's get right to Chris Wolf. He's live from the scene with more. Chris? Rick and Court, this was a deadly shooting near a target in a very busy part of town here in Baldwin Hills. It's an area that many people say is typically very quiet but not this afternoon. Now, a teenager is dead. It all started around 3.30 p.m. along La Cienega near the intersection with Obama Boulevard. Investigators tell us this was a car-to-car -car shooting. Six people were in a car traveling northbound on La Cienega. The shooter was in another car that pulled along the passenger side of the victim's car. Multiple shots were then fired at the victims. The attacker or attackers then sped off northbound but made a U-turn and started heading southbound on La Cienega before disappearing. That vehicle is described as a dark, large SUV. Bullets hit the front passenger, who later died at a hospital. That individual was only 17 years old. The driver, a 23-year-old, also was shot and suffered critical injuries. People in the back seat, including two four-year-old children, were not hurt. Authorities say there is currently no evidence this deadly shooting was gang-related, but everything is under investigation. We're not aware of any type of uh, disputes, or verbal disputes or physical disputes, altercations beforehand. Um, so at this time, the, the, the motive is unknown. Anyone with information should contact the LAPD. Live in Baldwin Hills, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right, Wolfie, we thank you for that. The man who was killed in a double shooting in Hollywood back on Thursday has been identified now. The coroner's office says that the male victim is 40-year-old Johnny Partridge. Officials haven't said where Partridge is from, though. The female victim has not been identified at this point. But this shooting happened on Thursday night about 11.15. This was over near the intersection of Carlos Avenue and North Gower right here in Hollywood. Police are still searching for that suspect as well, who apparently ran away from the scene. Investigators are asking anybody out there who's got information on all of this to contact the police. Now at 10, a community is mourning the loss of two of its own tonight. Family and friends held a candlelight vigil in El Monte to remember two police officers who were ambush ambushed on Tuesday. Both were shot and killed responding to a domestic violence call. Officer Joseph Santana and Corporal Michael Paradis were gunned down in the line of duty. Yeah, KTLA 5, Sarah Welch, live for us in El Monte tonight with more on what was an emotional gathering. Sarah? Rick, it certainly was a lot of tears tears tonight. If you look over my shoulder, you can see the candles shining bright this evening for these two officers. Family and friends spoke of how even in their last moments, these two officers live lives of integrity and character. Finding comfort together. The large extended family of the city of El Monte packed the street outside the Civic Center to cope with immense loss. To the men and women of our El Monte Police Department, I am deeply sorry for the loss of your brothers. A helicopter flyover and then a moment of silence honoring the bravery and sacrifice of Corporal Michael Paredes and Officer Joseph.